Hello everybody, today is going to be a follow-up to my beware video. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Um, there was a coloring book that um, I was uh, reviewing and I noticed there was a lot of stolen artwork in the coloring book. Well, <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of issues and flack over it. Um, people messaging me, kicking me out of groups, etc, etc. There's always that one person that will believe no matter what you say or what proof is in, you know, right in your face. So, I let it go, whatever. But the other day, I was in a Facebook group, I'm not going to mention the name of the group, I'm not going to mention the artist. But he was posting about, you know, people stealing work and he doesn't make a lot of money because, you know, people just post his pictures all over the internet, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, stealing and everything. And this lady, um, Kim, she actually had the nerve to say that you know about people stealing and whatnot in the group she said this is so true after busting her for stealing you know and copying and posting it and then selling a copy of people's work um for her own profit okay so this made me mad and i responded you know like are you kidding me are you seriously saying this right now? And then I posted a link to my Beware video. Okay. So that got me um, looking around. I had a little bit of help. And we found a few more pictures. But then found something at the end of the video I'm going to show you that it's just crazy. Okay. All right. Kim says that everything she drew was hers. I have it in a conversation that her and I went back and forth on Facebook where she says she drew it and then she backtracks and says she didn't draw it. Okay? But, um, okay. Let's try this again. Make life easier. Alright. This is Kim's off of her video, off of her website. I'm sorry. I love how every single picture that's on her Etsy site, she puts sample across it in big yellow words so nobody will steal it. She drew this, yeah, but she traced it. It's not hers. That is this cat right here, which is Lisa Frank. It's the same cat. Traced over it or not, I don't care. It's the same cat. All right, if that's not enough, I showed this the other night also on her website oops also on her website that's the one that she drew that's the real one that I found on the internet it's the same exact picture okay let's try this again this one's great this is where is the picture this is her um this is off of her website where she has all of these little hands with the little um, I don't know what you call it on her hand um, mandala hand that's what she says on here okay I'm trying to make it big so you can see but you can go to her Etsy and see for yourself this hand that she drew is this exact picture which is like tweaks. The design is exactly the same and this is not from her. This is from the internet. This picture is the same thing. She just moved it over here and tweaked it a little tiny bit. Not much. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger for you. It's hard to do this on the phone. It's the same picture, same design. You can go check it out on the internet. It is her picture, and this one is the real one. 
it's hard to tell. But yeah, it's the same exact picture, but this is not hers. This is not hers, I mean. This is from the Etsy, and this is from the internet. Kim's still doing it. She said she was going to stop. She has not. She's put more pictures up on the internet, okay, like this one. Kim's Handmade Pretties. Here's her sample. See, Kim Jordan. Kim's Handmade Pretties. It's got the little fishies. It's got the seahorse. It's got the shells. See it? Okay. That's the same seahorse. That's the same shell. Hold on. Same thing. Same exact picture. See it? Go look on the, um, her Etsy yourself if you don't believe me. It's the same picture. Copied and pasted it. Same seashell. She's not drawing anything. Not these, at least. Um, this one. I remember in when I did the original review, I remember saying that this picture looked like somebody just took a piece of clip art and stuck it in the middle of this flower. Well, guess what? She did. There it is. From the internet. Somebody's website. Same flower. Right here. Same exact one. And if any of you don't believe me, message me. Message me. I will be glad to send these to you in big, bright color in your face so you can see it if you don't believe me. Okay? You don't have to believe me. I don't care. But it's the same. So, keep digging around, digging around. And I noticed that on every single post, pretty much, that... Kim post on websites she always has somebody named Kimiko posting and loving her artwork and just saying the best things about her right this lady Kim Co Jordan take a look at her face she's got nothing on her website and on her Facebook nothing no friends no pictures, nothing. But this website's been around for a while. I mean website, I keep saying that. Facebook. Kimco Jordan. Look at the picture. Okay. She is responding to all of Kim's posts. Okay. Alright, so Kim and Kimiko have been messaging back and forth on a bunch of different websites. Anyway, Kim Jordan Blair and Kim Eco Jordan. Hmm. Anybody thinking of that name? Anything ringing a bell here? So this Kim Eco Jordan and Kim Blair Jordan have been going back and forth. You can look it up on Facebook. They've been messaging each other back and forth, you know, besties or whatever. They were talking about, you know, signing their work and whatnot. Kim Jordan Blair is here with her picture. And Kimiko Jordan's signature is right here. Wow. Hmm. They almost have the same handwriting. Okay, this is Kim's picture. Kimiko, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused myself. This is almost exactly like one of the pictures in her book. The other Kim's book. Okay, so let's get back to the profile picture. Remember Kimiko Jordan? Remember that? If you look and try to find this girl anywhere on the internet, this is what you're going to find. You're going to find her face as a stock photo all over the place. Like this. Can you see that?
Kimiko. There you go, Kimiko. Grand opening. Best massage for Earth. Asian Muslim dating. UK. Romaine. Let's see. All of these are Kimiko? Hmm. And then this is funny. In 2013, Kimiko Jordan liked almost every single piece of jewelry on Kim Jordan Blair's Etsy site. 2013. But they just met on Facebook group. Check out this shop. It has beautiful handmade jewelry. Kimiko Jordan likes an Etsy shop. And when you click that link, it goes right to Kim Jordan Blair's Etsy site. There's another one. Check out this shop. It's got beautiful handmade jewelry. Really cute. And only $7.50. Check out this shop. Her prices are great. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Okay. So here's Kim Jordan Blair talking to Kimiko. Because it's so tiny, it says, Oops. I posted this early on accident and accidentally deleted it when I was trying to edit the post. I thought you might like to see how I draw tulips. Sorry for the shadows, but you can still see what I'm doing. I hope you like it. And Kimiko Jordan posts, you make it look so easy, and I love the information that you give. Kim Jordan Blair, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I just want to point out that this Kimiko Jordan Facebook profile was closed down until, what, three or four days before, I mean, after I posted my Beware video, and then it started posting all over Kim Jordan Blair's comments, liking all her stuff, sell, sell, selling her. I'm just telling y'all what's out there. Y'all can make your own decisions. But put two and two together. Kimiko Jordan and Kim Jordan Blair are really, really, really close. Not saying they're the same person, but hey. Just saying. Here's another picture that she posted. Kim Jordan Blair posted. Jordan Blair. Kimiko Jordan writes, very pretty. She's her number one fan. Okay. Not to mention, if you go on to Amazon, <laughs> Kim Jordan Blair, that's her. That's her. These are her books. All of her books. She gives herself five... She gives herself five stars on every book, and she writes, Adorable pictures of cute kids. To the person who said this was clip art, I would say they have never seen this book. I have searched the internet and cannot find any clip art that resembles this. Well, guess what, Kim? I didn't say anything about this book. I said something about your green book with the flowers on it. Where's that one? Where's your five stars? Where's your comment on that one? That's the one I said you didn't draw. This? Yeah. You did you yeah, you drew that one. Okay? These these pictures of these little kids? Yeah, you drew that. Okay? Great. <laughs> but let me tell you what. You didn't draw that. You definitely definitely didn't draw that. Because that's her picture. Um, this one in the middle? 
Nope. Didn't draw that one. That's from the internet. That's clip art that you're selling as your own. Clip art or somebody else's work that you took. I just find it very, very interesting. That, you know, this one's great too. This picture. I hope y'all can see this. This picture. Kim Jordan Blair here posted a picture of this well. Okay, that she drew. This is this picture that started everything. This well right here. Because it was a Joanna Bassford well. And I busted her on that same exact picture. But she redid it. She drew it herself. Okay, in her little book. Her little book right here. See the little book? This book is, see the, see the signature? That is Kimiko Jordan. You see that? Same book. Same table. And if you look really, really close, which you probably cannot see, right here, at the bottom where her feet are, that's the same carpet. Same floor. With, oh, with the little, um, with the little office mat with the dots on the carpet right there. And then right there. This lady is seriously another post. Kim Jordan Blair. Here's the finished product picture from the video that I posted. I'm offering it as a free coloring page. Please do not in caps share uncolored pictures from my sketchbook. And here we go. Kimmy Co. Jordan. I love the way this turned out. I bet you do, since you drew it. Here's another one of her ankle. Okay. April 30th, 2013. Kimiko Jordan. Likes an Etsy. Really cute and only $7.50. And if you go and you click on it, it brings you to Kim Jordan Blair's Etsy site. I say all this not to just be ugly, not to just keep digging at Kim or anything like that. But she told me that she drew this work and that she was going to stop and she was going to take all of this stuff down, which she did take a lot of her pictures down. But she's putting them back up now. Newer ones where you can clearly see she's still copying them. Um, and I'm the one that's getting kicked out of groups. I'm the one getting messages and flack from it. Because I told the truth. Because she is taking other people's work who worked hard. And she's using it and selling it and making money off of it. It does not seem fair. So, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Y'all can do, you know, you can check it out for yourself. Kimiko Jordan. Hmm. Kim Jordan Blair. That's just suspicious to me. Just saying. Um... I, in my opinion, believe that Kimiko Jordan is Kim Jordan Blair. And because people are on to her, she's making up her own little friend now to comment on her pictures, to like her pictures, to have conversations with her, to like her Etsy site. And now they're giving each other drawing advice, which is really funny because their drawings 
are almost exactly alike, and so is their signatures. Come on, people. For the ones that said, oh, that can't be, she would never do that, and kick me out of your group, it's right in front of your face. You don't want to see it. That's on you. That's not me. That's you. So, whatever. I don't want to be in your group anyway if you want to kick me out because I busted somebody who is a liar and a thief. And yes, I did send that all of that information to Joanna Basford and her legal team is working on it. And I sent them all the information that I have. Um, because people keep asking me and um, like I said, if you want any of these pictures close up Message me. I'll send them to you. You can look at them close up for yourself. Not a problem Okay, enough of the rant um, I know this is kind of all over the place. I'm really tired had a rough week But this Kim lady is just really worked my nerves with that comment the other day I had let it die down, was over it, whatever. But that really, really, really got to me when she said that. So, um, check it out. Look for yourself. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again. Bye bye.